Hello, I'm Laura Marshall. And I'm Ashley Wright. And this is Light Matters for July 10th, 2013. On today's show, optics students win IBM's Battle of the Brains, adding color makes solar cells more stylish, and a simple test uses lasers and sound waves to diagnose blood-related diseases. Three students from St. Petersburg National Research University of Information Technologies Mechanics and Optics, or ITMO, were crowned world champions at the 37th annual Battle of the Brains competition hosted at ITMO and sponsored by IBM. The ACM International Collegiate Programming Contest, or ICPC, challenged 120 university teams to solve complex real-world problems under a strict five-hour deadline. Students were challenged to solve the most number of computer programming problems in the least amount of time. The St. Petersburg team successfully solved 10 problems in the five-hour period, winning the World's Smartest Trophy, as well as awards and offers of employment or internships with IBM. The 120 teams competing in the World Finals emerged from local and regional ICPC competitions held this past fall. Initial selections took place from a field of more than 300,000 students in computing disciplines worldwide. At the regional level, almost 30,000 contestants from about 2,300 universities in 91 countries competed at more than 300 sites to earn one of the 120 invitations to St. Petersburg. The top medalists were ITMO, the new world champion, Shanghai Jiao Tong University, which won second place, the University of Tokyo, which won third place, and National Taiwan University, which took fourth place. Regional champions included Carnegie Mellon University of North America, ITMO of Europe, Arab Academy for Science and Technology in Alexandria, which won in the Africa and the Middle East category, Instituto Tecnologico de Aeronautica of Latin America, Shanghai Jiao Tong University of Asia, and University of New South Wales in the South Pacific. Design is sometimes more style than substance, but solar cell manufacturers cannot afford to lose efficiency just to make solar arrays more attractive on buildings. Covering a roof or a facade with standard black or bluish gray solar cells to generate electricity will change a building's original appearance, and not always for the better. With the help of thin film technologies, researchers at the Fraunhofer Institute for Applied Optics and Precision Engineering in Jena, Germany are now giving photovoltaics a makeover by adding color. A junior research group funded by Germany's Federal Ministry for Education and Research, working with a Fraunhofer team and scientists at the Friedrich Schiller University, developed a simple semiconductor insulator semiconductor, or SIS, solar cell with a transparent conductive oxide, or TCO, outer layer to capture more light. They say it could be made in different colors and shapes. The color can be changed by alternating the thickness of the TCO layer or by modifying its refractive index. The additional transparent TCO layer hardly impacts the current yield at all, the researchers said. Simulation showed that SIS cells could be up to 20% efficient. In practice, the efficiency depends on the design of the panels and the direction the building faces. Not every color would generate the same amount of electricity, the scientists said. There are restrictions, for example, with certain blends of red, blue, and green. SIS solar cells could be used to make large billboards that produce their own electricity, the researchers say. People can be identified just by their voices, and now so can red blood cells. Not by their voices, of course, but by the high-frequency sound waves produced when the cells are hit with laser light. Those sound waves contain information on the blood cells' shapes and sizes, which could help scientists to develop simple tests for blood diseases such as malaria and sickle cell anemia. A healthy red blood cell has a regular biconcave shape, but a malaria patient's red blood cells are irregularly swollen, and those of patients with sickle cell anemia take on a rigid sickle shape. Using a photoacoustic microscope, investigators at Ryerson University in Toronto, led by Dr. Michael Colios, differentiated healthy red blood cells from irregularly shaped red blood cells with high confidence using a sample size of just 21 cells. Because each measurement takes only fractions of a second, the method could eventually be used in an automated device to rapidly characterize red blood cells from a single drop of blood obtained in the clinic. They are now developing a microfluidic device that would integrate the laser and probes to analyze streams of single cells, which would allow thousands of cells to be measured in a very short period of time with minimal user involvement. The method can be applied to other types of cells as well, they say, including white blood cells. They are also using it to detect changes in photoacoustic signals that occur when blood cells clump together to form dangerous blood clots. The work was reported in Biophysical Journal, published by Cell Press. That's it for this edition of Light Matters, the photonics industry's only weekly newscast. As always, you can write to us with your comments or questions at lightmatters at photonics.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.